Well, finally Gondorada has been completely restored. All thanks to you. We were just doing our part. Monica. Yes? I have something I must give you. Really? What is it? Huh? Here. What's this? That's the sword your father, Raybrandt, left to me. He asked me to give it to you if anything should happen. It's my father's sword? That sword is imbued with great power. A normal person could never make use of it. But with you as you are now, I'm sure you could draw out its strength. Now is the time for you to take that sword and fight alongside your father, Monica. Father! We built it for our struggle against Griffin. It's the secret ace up the Rebel Army's sleeve. Pasnos! launch!
are those things? Those are the golems in Griffin's control. They're huge! Yes, Griffin destroyed a mountain and created a whole army of golems. They're a magical force to be reckoned with. What should we do? Don't worry, we'll make them taste the power of Pasnos. Ready the weapons! Yes, sir. Lord Agaris? Not yet. We have to lure them closer. Now! Fire! Lord Agaris, Elena has arrived. I hope you weren't hurt. No, it was tough going, but the bombardment from Posno saved us. Max. Mother. Oh, you've gotten so big. I'm so happy to see you again. Me too. How's your father? Oh, he's fine. I'm sure that he wants to see you too. Yes. Mother? What? Can't you come back? Back to our time? Max, please understand. This is the place where I have to be. I'm from this time, not yours. But... Even so, that's... that's... that's just selfish! That's just so... Max... If that's the case... I mean, if that's how things are, then you shouldn't have come to my time in the first place! Max, I'm sorry. No one can exist in two separate times. So, you're both going. Yes, we got the word from Lunalad that Ixion was finished. We're going to ride it into the distant past. And then we're gonna find Griffin and do what needs to be done. I hope you will, Max. Monica. You don't want to talk with Elena? No. It's fine. I understand. Be careful out there. You're our only hope. Bring the light back to our world. We're counting on you. All right.
So it's finished. We did have a little bit of trouble with her, though. But we're rather proud of the end results. It is so cool. Um, isn't it a little, uh, gaudy? Well, now that you mention it, I guess you could say that. Hey, are you picking holes in my design? You just don't get it, do you? He was in charge of the design. Listen, this train can travel through space and time. I just figured it should have a look that sets it apart and matches its abilities, you know? <sighs> uh. I think it looks cool. Exactly. At least you understand. Well, whatever. If it gets us 10,000 years in the past, that's all that matters. That won't be a problem. Well, then let's go. Be careful out there. He's a formidable enemy, that griffin. Could be tough operating this thing. Not to worry. Osmond will handle the Ixion's controls. Leave it to me. Max and Monica, good luck to you both. Thanks for all you've done. We'll do our best, Dr. Knob. Wow! Yuck, the inside's just as bad. All systems, go! Well, I know there isn't a whole lot you can do about it now, but I really don't think much of the design. Hmm. <laughs> Just kidding! How about we get going? Right! Let's go! Get ready to 10,000 years in the past! When Two Eras Collide So this is 10,000 years ago. Kind of gloomy. Look! There's only one moon in the sky! What's going on? Did we land on a whole different world? I guess even the sky looked different in this time. So Emperor Griffin is somewhere in there, huh? Yes. I can feel him. Griffin, he's in this palace. Finally, time to set things right. I'll wait for you here. I hope it all goes well. Okay, let's get going.
what Emperor Griffin is really like. Nobody's ever seen him. He controls his followers from the past. I don't know exactly what he's like, but I'm certain that he has tremendous magical power. He's caused enough suffering for everyone. We'll stop him for sure. Right. Looks like we're invited in. Then let's go! Come this far. Excellent, just like myself. No wonder the Atla Media chose you. What? You must be joking. You're Emperor Griffin? What? Emperor Griffin? <laughs> That's the name you humans have given me out of fear. Well, no matter. A name is but a name. Yes, it is I. The one you would call Emperor Griffin, the ruler of darkness. That is me. <laughs> Griffin, you're gonna pay! Well, shall we get down to it? After all, you've covered so much time and space just for me.
humans don't truly appreciate the value of existence. Excuse me? It's because of humans that suffering spreads throughout the world. Hmm? I won't forgive you, humans. I won't lose to you anymore. What do you mean? You see, even you don't understand. You should be wiped out of existence. All of you should be wiped out. <laughs> I am finished. We won? Be careful. No! Damn! 
<laughs> I got them! This is what I wanted! With this, it will all be mine. Now then, why don't we get started? It's time to purify this world. Have you heard the legend of these stones? The legend of the stones. He who obtains the three Atlamilias receives the power of the stars. That's right. That's exactly how it goes. However, these stones have another role as well. A somewhat different role. Huh? In these stones is enough power to destroy the world. The ancients feared the people of the future. Humans are dangerous creatures, possessing both immense wisdom and even greater greed. They knew that once humans built up their civilizations and gained great powers, they would end up harming the planet itself. So in order to ensure the planet could go on living forever, they came up with a special contrivance. The Star of Oblivion. Star of Oblivion? If humans controlled by greed were to learn of the existence of the Atlamelia, capable of giving them ultimate power, they would be certain to start a war to try to recover them. And they would ultimately fall into the hands of the one with the most power. When that time comes, all life on Earth would be wiped out and the greed in this world would finally be erased. Time and again throughout the world's history, there have been mass extinctions. But this tale of ruin and destruction definitely won't be making it into the annals of history. Finally, the great disaster shall fall upon the world. The Star of Oblivion will realize its true glory. What are you talking about? If you do that, you'll be destroyed right along with everything else! Me? <laughs> that was my plan all along. I will be swept up in the cataclysm along with all of you fool humans. That will be my fate. Everything will disappear from the face of the world, and then... a new shall take shape. That's how it will be. How it was always meant to be. I won't let you do it! <laughs> and just how are you going to stop me? This is out of your hands now. The change has already begun. Nothing can stop it now. <laughs> but just waiting around for it to happen would be no fun at all. I think I'll erase everything from the world just before the real destruction begins. Just sit back and watch.
This is the power of the stones. What did you do? You'll find out soon enough. I shall show you the power this palace possesses, the power I possess. What the? What's happening? I'm sure you like the view. Something terrible has happened! Somehow, this palace has returned to the present. It can't be! What is Griffin planning now? Griffin's doing. Oh man, let's get out of here. Right, we need a new plan. Is that Conda and the others? Following Elena's instructions, she said to land here. Here it is. I'll set it up. Listen carefully, Max. Something truly terrible has happened. It's incredible. 
But somehow Griffin has shown up in your time. If he continues, he could go through time destroying each era in turn. So what should we do? The only way to stop Griffin is to attack his palace with our fortress, Pasnos. But it's not like we can just bring Pasnos to this time period. There is a way. You're kidding! At the place where you are now, Kazarov Stonehenge, there is a unique convergence of space-time flow. We must make a Chrono Union there. Chrono Union? It's when time and space envelop each other. We have to make an area where your time and my time will both exist in the same place. If we can do that, then we can send Posnos to your time from here. That's really possible? Yes, the Ancient Ones knew the secret, and Luna Labs deciphered it from their wall murals. We don't have much time. Let's get to it. There should be four stone pillars standing there in Kazarov. I see them! In each pillar there is a hole. The holes are there to receive four colored gems. Put a gem in each one of the holes, and it's possible to make a Chrono Union. But where do I find these gems? The four gems are hidden somewhere in your world. In the forest, the valleys, the sea, or in the mountains. Go to all the places you've ever been and search for those gems. They're definitely there somewhere. There is a key for getting the gems from where they're hidden. The key is hidden in the center of Stonehenge, where you are now. If you find doors that open with that key, you're sure to find the gems. Okay, I've got it. We'll head out and find them. Even now, Griffin is starting his rampage again. Hurry, Max. <laughs> Now you can jump to any place you like, in this time or the future, by using the Ixion's time travel system. With the Atlamelia stolen, the Ixion is our only means of time travel. And you can control the time travel system by remote, too. If it's a place with a time gate, you can go directly into the future, just like before. Use it carefully. Awesome! Convenient and cool! Well, so where to first? Remember the star symbols we've seen around? Maybe those symbols mark where the gems are. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. Let's go!